4.0, a free update to Greensy basic autonomous mowing software launches today, March 3rd, 2025, and is available on all Greensy equipped mowers. Let's dive into some of the new features, functionality, improvements, and updates, and find out how they work. The first feature is one all of our customers have been asking for. You can now map closer to obstacles. We've reworked how you set the boundary or perimeter and how we define what your Greensy equipped mower will mow. This is thanks to our work together on several safety standards bodies to ensure that autonomous mowing is safe and efficient. Let's map out a job together to see how it works. We now use the outer deck to record the working area. Previously, we used the midline of the mower and told landscapers and operators to leave at least two mower lengths or 10 to 12 feet as a buffer area for turns. This isn't necessary anymore. Now with 4.0, you define the working area with the outer deck of the mower, which allows you to define the perimeter precisely. When you map out the working area, the software will determine the mowing area, leaving a small buffer space of about one deck width. Let's map out a keep out zone to see how those are defined and to really see how you can now map jobs closer to obstacles. Again, we use the outer deck to define the keep out zone. We'll see in a moment how the mower defines the buffer area for this keep out zone once it starts autonomously mowing. Previously, at 3.0 software, we advocated leave 10 to 12 feet in these keep out zones to allow for it to turns. Not anymore. It's time to engage autonomous mowing. The mower will now first mow an inner boundary lap. What's great about this is that it always mows the same first inner boundary lap, regardless of whether you just mapped out this job or if you reloaded this saved job from something you did the following week or previous week. There's no more babysitting of the mower as you now know the full area it will mow easily as it does that first. Next up, it's just your standard striping. This is Greensy at its finest rock solid straight lines and non-rutting Y turns. Note that the area mowed by the inner boundary pass is used for turns. Now, if for any reason the mower slips and any part of the mower goes outside the boundary, it shuts off immediately, safety first. Now, when it gets to a keep out zone, the mower will mow a boundary lap around the keep out zone. Previously in 3.0 software, we'd just keep striping away from the obstacle, but now it's visually nicer because you know where the mower will mow, especially for reloaded jobs with keep out zones. Once it's done mowing the inner lap of the keep out zone, it's back to striping. When it encounters another keep out zone, it'll perform an inner lap on that one too, just like a human operator would. Now, the name of the game is pipelining other activities while the mower strikes. Jump on another machine, grab an edger, a trimmer, a blower, or start on some enhancement work while the mower finishes the job. The best operators map out jobs that have them complete other work at the same time as the greens equipped mower completes so they can get twice as much work done in the same amount of time. When the mower's done, it'll turn off the blades and head back to the start, ready for another job. And you can simply load another job and, or use GoTo to bring the mower to the next job or simply back to the trailer without having to get back on it unless you just want to. So you might be wondering, what about the thousands of maps our customers have already created to mow well over two and a half billion square feet of turf autonomously so far and that are they're using across the country. Will they work in 4.0? Yes, no problem. We simply expand the perimeter by an extra half deck width, which makes the perimeter the same as if it had been originally mapped along the same path with 4.0. Of course, this doesn't account for how much closer to objects in the environment and especially keep out zones that we allow mapping to now. So you may want to re-record new mapped out job perimeters and keep out zones to take advantage of these new features. The choice is yours. Now for obstacles encountered in the field where you don't define a keep out zone, does it go closer to them? The answer is no. We still leave a margin of safety that is two mower deck lengths about 10 to 12 feet from any obstacle encountered in the map. Now next up is our new improved user interface. It's worth mentioning that this is a progressive web app, which means no app store, no download required. You simply scan the QR code, and click the link to open in your browser. That also means it's automatically translated into all available languages, which enables your crews to easily operate and do it safely. Now you will need the pin code unique to your Greens Equip Mower to gain access to the companion app. The new user interface has been redesigned to walk you through the steps easily. It's more visually appealing with bigger fonts, easier to read, 
bigger buttons with less clicks needed for when it's super hot outside. It always displays the most relevant details front and center at any given time, which means mowing progress and time remaining are right there when you need it. The controls page has also been reworked to be much easier to use. Things like mapping out a new job, loading previously saved jobs, making a record and repeat job, or even just using GoTo to bring the mower to the next job are all much easier and simpler to use. We think you'll love it, and for those of you who are used to the 3.0 interface, we know there's some changes, but we think you'll be happy with the new interface once you get the hang of it. You can always switch back with one tap. Last but not least are some improvements and performance updates. 4.0 has smoother mowing operation with less turf damage and redesigned Y turns, unnecessary stops, and some perception improvements. Let's take a look at these new Y turns. Now we've made some improvements to the Y turns to minimize turf damage. This is an area that we're constantly improving and 4.0 has better turns across all Greensy equipped mowers. Try it and see if you agree. Our team has been working hard behind the scenes to improve via software our ability to detect things like GPS jumps, a sensor estimate of degrading, and all these other things like USB disconnects that would cause the mower to previously to stop and require a manual intervention. We're proud to report that 4.0 contains many improvements that will keep your mower mowing efficiently and safely. There's a lot to be excited about in Greensy's 4.0 of our basic autonomous mowing software. These software updates are all automatic and all Greens equipped mowers are being updated in the field today, automatically behind the scenes, no action required. And with updates happening every two weeks, you can be sure it'll keep getting better and better. As always, to view reports, your mapped out jobs, peek your efficiency, your usage, hours, acreage, maps, all this and more, you can log in with a browser to desktop under your account or an iPad to view all this and more. And that's all in Included with Greensy Basic. Greensy Pro users get the all the features of Basic, but in addition, Pro users get our award-winning account management calls, advanced reporting on your specific return on investment, labor rates, and API access for integration into the field services software platform of your choice. If you're ready to become an advanced or pro autonomous user, contact Greensy to discuss how you can become a Greensy Pro. For more information on pricing of Greensy equipped mowers with Basic included, please contact your local dealer for up-to-date pricing. What are you waiting for? Get a demo and get a Greensy equipped mower on your crew today.